Two years ago, 32-year-old Tony Tempa was afraid, and he called Dallas police for help. An hour later, he was dead. To this day, the circumstances of Tempa's death largely remain a mystery. The I-Team's Brian New tonight joins us with why the Department of Justice is now involved in this. Brian? Doug, much of what took place an hour from when Tony Tempa called 911 and when he died was captured on video by police body cameras. But because this remains an active investigation, that video has been kept from the public, raising questions about what actually took place in the moments before his death. Scared, disoriented, and in the middle of a mental crisis. Dallas 911, this is Hickman, where's your emergency? Tony Tempa called for help. He was expecting someone to help him. That's why you call. He wasn't expecting several police to kill him. Tony Tempa was a 32 year old executive with a fancy convertible living in a fancy downtown high rise. His mother says life was good for her son. That was the summer before he died. But Tempa also had his struggles. For years, his mother says he battled addiction to alcohol and drugs. And on that August 9th, when he called 911, the medical examiner found cocaine in his system. According to police records, Tempa was acting erratic. He ran out of an adult video store, walking right into the middle of traffic. Two security guards restrained him and put him in handcuffs. But what took place next is where the real mystery begins. According to the custodial death report, the department wrote when officers arrived, they attempted to gain control of Tempa. Nothing more is mentioned, not until paramedics arrived. According to the report, Tempa was placed in an ambulance. Then he stopped breathing. They can't tell the truth. The detectives lied repeatedly to me. For months after her son's death, Vicki Tempa says she could never get a straight answer from detectives. So she hired an attorney. Sure. A judge ordered the body camera video to be turned over to Timp and her attorney, but blocked it from being made public. It was a killing field, I'm telling you. I wish I could show you that video. I wish I could show you those police body cameras. They did it without caring. A lawsuit filed by the family claims the officers recklessly and knowingly killed Tempa. According to the suit, a body camera video shows Officer Dustin Dillard putting his knee in the back of Tempa for 14 minutes. Tempa was handcuffed with his face buried in the ground. The lawsuit claims Tempa couldn't breathe, repeatedly telling officers, you're going to kill me. Tempa then goes completely unresponsive. The suit claims Dillard is heard on his body camera saying, I hope I didn't kill him. Tempa's death certificate reads, sudden cardiac death caused from the toxic effects of cocaine and stress associated with physical restraint. It was horrible because it was a lynching. My heart goes out to his family. My heart goes out to his mother. I'm a parent. I would hate to lose a child. Um, but what killed that man, what killed that man was 20 years of, of, of drug abuse. These officers had no, uh, uh, had nothing to do with Mr. Tempa's death. Then why were they indicted? It's a good question. Michael Mata is the president of the Dallas Police Association. He says the Dallas County District's Attorney's Office tainted the grand jury that indicted the officers by allowing Vicki Tempa to speak to them. It's not uncommon for a character witness to give a statement to the grand jury, but Mata says it's wrong. When you have a grieving parent, a grieving mother in front of you, you know, testifying to their child, of course it becomes uh, feelings become involved. But feelings are not supposed to be involved in a grand jury. It's supposed to be about facts. It's been 10 months since these three Dallas police officers were indicted on misdemeanor deadly conduct charges. The DA has yet to prosecute the case. Mata says the charges need to be dropped. It kind of brings back a lot of memories. Tempa says she often finds herself waiting for her son to walk through the door. She knows that won't happen. And as the days go by, she fears justice for her son won't happen either. I mean, you expect him to come bouncing through the room, and he's not there. And he's not ever going to come back. 
Now, the Dallas County District Attorney's Office told us it does not comment on ongoing cases, neither will the U.S. Department of Justice. And, Doug, no one seems to have an idea of just how long this federal investigation is going to last. So you mentioned in the piece 10 months since the three officers yes. you speak of have been indicted. What have they been doing in 10 months? Well, they've months? been on paid administrative leave for the past two years. And really, those on both sides of this case say dragging this case out any longer really benefits no one. Okay. Brian New, thank you for being on top of it. Yeah. We appreciate it.